How has everyone been doing this November? And all I can say is that this month is a good month for fans of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Because as many of you may or may not know, we recently got confirmation that there will be a season 3 for Tensura. Although we still do not know the exact release date, but at least we can be hyped for it. And if I had to predict when season 3 will come out, I'm guessing either fall 2024 or even winter 2025, but I could be wrong. Also, 8B Studio will still be handling the production, so we can at least expect the same animation and production quality from them. But putting that aside for now, another reason I made this video is because I wanted to briefly talk about what Season 3 will be covering and what we can expect for this upcoming season. Of course, I won't go into specific details about the plot points to avoid too much spoilers, but there will still be some things that may or may not be considered spoilers for Season 3, so feel free to click away if you want to. And before we begin, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel if you want more Tensra content in the future. Now, Season 3 will probably cover 3 volumes, Volume 7, 8 and 9, so let's briefly go over some of the important plot points in each of the volumes. Let's start with Volume 7, which is titled Saint Monster Confrontation, and just like the name, the major plot point in this volume involves the still present hostilities between the Tempest Federation and the Holy Kingdom of Lubarius, notably with the Western Holy Church and Hinata Sakaguchi, how they will resolve the misunderstanding and discover the villains behind the scheme to eliminate both Rimuru and Hinata. Also, we'll get to see a rematch between Rimuru and Hinata, and now that he has awakened as a demon lord, the fight will definitely be interesting. But besides that, there's a subplot which involves the mission that Diablo was given to help Yom and his group to overthrow the Farmer Kingdom. This specific event might be one of the more anticipated arcs for many light novel readers because we finally get to see Diablo utilize his talents and abilities to defeat the schemes of the Seven Celestial Sages, a new antagonistic force that works for the Western Holy Church. And speaking of antagonistic forces, we will also likely be introduced to two notable individuals, Grandma Rosso and Damrada, both responsible for tricking Hinata into attacking Rimuru back in Season 2. So moving on to Volume 8 which is called Territorial Seizure. This basically involves the celebration that was about to begin in the Tempest Federation after Rimuru managed to resolve the misunderstanding with Hinata and establish a friendly relation with the Western Holy Church. And now that Rimuru was no longer hostile with any foreign forces, he was able to prepare a massive celebration to debut his new title as a demon lord and his role as the ruler of the Great Jura Forest called the Tempest Founders Festival. And throughout this volume, it's just mainly the Tempest Federation making preparations for the upcoming event, like who to invite, the activities they will be held, and what they will be showcasing to the world leaders. Also, we'll be introduced to the Sorceress Dynasty Sarian and the Emperor, Elmesia and Lao Sarian, the nation that formed a non-aggression pact with Rumuru back in Season 2. That said, the most interesting subplot in this volume that I'm sure many will be excited about is the introduction of Ramirez's Labyrinth. Essentially, what happened here is that Ramirez has decided to abandon her current labyrinth in the dwellings of the spirits and move to Tempest. Luckily, Rimuru thought of using her labyrinth as an attraction, so he allowed her to build it in Tempest. And hopefully, we'll get to see the preparation and creation of the labyrinth itself in Season 3 because it's really interesting and maybe get some justice for Bretta who had many of her scenes cut out in Season 2. Now for Volume 9 which is called Founding of the Monster Capital, it's a direct continuation of Volume 8 but now the Founders Festival has officially started. In this volume, we'll get to see many of the activities and events that are currently happening in Tempus as well as some of the important people that have come to visit. So if you enjoy the city building aspects of Tensura, you'll definitely enjoy this portion of the story if Season 3 does adapt Volume 9. This volume really makes the Tempest Federation feel like a realistic nation and I'm sure if they do this adaptation justice, it will be very interesting and entertaining to watch. But I think the most exciting thing from this volume will be the official opening of Ramirez's Labyrinth and seeing how they'll be doing this portion for the story. And if you want to know more about the Labyrinth, I actually made a video going over the entire Labyrinth so feel free to check that out if you're interested. Also, I can't wait to see the Tempest Battle Tournament and if you didn't know, in the light novel, Gopta and Ranga actually will have quite a sizable presence in this tournament so we can look forward to that. But aside from this, we will likely get to meet one of the luckiest characters in the series, the lightspeed hero Masuki Honjo and I think his introduction will either be hated or loved by fans considering what happens when he encounters Rumuru. And one last thing, in Season 2, we already knew that Yuki Kagurazaka was working with Clayman behind the scenes, but Rimuru was still unsure. However, during the Founders Festival, Rimuru himself finally confirmed that Yuki was the true mastermind and will be expecting them to clash in the future. But yeah, that's what we can basically expect for Season 3. And this has been a short video because I just wanted to let everyone know about the announcement. So thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more Tensura and other anime content in the future. And if you have any video suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, stay safe everyone.